Hello there guys and welcome, it's Niren here and today it is time for some more F1 2013 Sprint Mode. I am here in a Red Bull, I'm in Mark Webber's Red Bull, which means I can only be teammates to Sebastian Vettel and uh, inevitably have to let whoever's driving that car through at some point. I'm here in Silverstone, which means I'll probably have my front wing taken off me as well, but nevertheless I've been given the finger and it's time to go out here on a track which surprisingly... I've never driven that, despite being British myself, and I, I mean, that's just horrendous, isn't it, really? That's just terrible. Alrighty then, it looks as if it's going to be Sam 97F1 who I inevitably have to let through. Nevertheless, the five lights are on here at Silverstone and they are now off. We've got a Marusha on pole. I didn't think I'd say that in the near future. There's two Caterhams behind in a second row lockout. Didn't think I'd say that, but that hasn't lasted long because they've both spun out. We're now all over XX Kieran XX in his British Marusha. Someone's lunged it up the inside and well, it didn't take long, did it? It did not take long at all. That is a Red Bull. That's a Sebastian Vettel, effectively, is all, already... He's, he's through. There's, there was no point even bothering, was there, really? I've used half my curves. I'm down into third, having started second. The man who started fifth is now in second, and he's looking at the Marusha. We go back up the inside. We've got a Williams behind as well. There's a bit of contact, and we get hung out to dry on the outside. And now the Williams goes through. And we're just getting passed all over the show. We've got a Brazilian Caterham now behind in fifth. As we go on, go on even onto the old pit straight here in Silverstone and down into Cops Corner. We're a little bit cautious through there. And then we go wide just to top it all off. Not as wide as the Caterham behind. And now as a Force India and a Lotus behind. The Williams has gone up the inside of the Red Bull ahead. We've still got the Marusha leading. How? How this has happened, there's like eight cars in the space of a second, and now there's a Force India there. Someone's got onto the grass on the outside there, that's a Williams. That Merju with this has just gone through into fourth, well, that's a brilliant name. Nevertheless, the Marusha goes wide now. Now, I don't even know what car that was. Marusha, I think, goes wide. The Williams and the Force India go around the outside. We lunge up the inside of the Force India, and now we're on the outside of the Williams. This is just carnage. This is utter carnage as we are now going through the last corner. We've got a Force India on the inside, right alongside. Great bit of clean racing. And now the Williams is looking at the Marusha, a tiny bit of contact. And then they go wide. The Marusha gets punted out by the Williams. The Force India goes around the outside of the Marusha, as, does, as do we. And then goes up the inside of the Williams. Now we're in. For, this is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. Meanwhile, a Red Bull's just, he's just taken off at the front. Didn't think I'd say that in this race, just a hint of sarcasm there. Nevertheless, we're going to use a bit of curves down this back straight, and now this Williams ahead is going to battle with this. I don't, I can't even remember what car it is. It's a Force India, isn't it? Nevertheless, he goes wide there through a corner, which I should remember. I remember most of the, most of the Silverstone corners, but not that one. Nevertheless, we're still in fourth, going on to the back straight, and now you feel as if it's the calm before the storm as this last lap will get underway in half a lap from now. The first lap was hectic, completely hectic. The guy had not even slightly obeying the track limits, and uh, Charlie Whiting will inevitably do nothing about that, probably. Um, but nevertheless, they're still in third. They're still in third, even not us. We've, we've made a bit of a haul of that complex, to be quite honest. I haven't driven this track on this game, which is stupid, and I get to every track on this when I do this series, and I say, look, I haven't driven this track on this game. Maybe it should occur to me at some point that I should drive the tracks on this game as we go through Stowe. Or at least I think it's Stowe, I'm not sure. Nevertheless, into the chicane, and I, uh, hang on, hang on, I'm a bit suspicious of that. I'm extremely suspicious of that Lotus. I cannot comprehend how he's managed to gain that amount of time from going through that chicane at a normal pace, at a normal rate of knots like I did. I can't begin to think how he's done that. So I believe that he's cut that chicane. I think I have a decent amount of evidence as well. Nevertheless, he's all over the back of us now through this tight section of corners, the new additions. It's not even new, is it, really? That pretty much shows how long it's been since I drove an F1 game that I'm calling that complex new. Nevertheless, we now go back onto the... You know what I've just realised as well? I say nevertheless far too much in these videos. Far too... The Williams ahead has spun 
in the meantime, and the Lotus has just scythed his way through both of them. And I was too cautious because I, well, rightly cautious because I thought the Williams was just going to spear into the middle of the track. We've got up the inside of the Lotus, there's a bit of contact with third, now back down to fourth, we're briefly on the podium. The Lotus got a better run out of the last corner, and now we go into the slip stream as we head down into Cop's corner. He goes wide yet again, but will inevitably not get a penalty whatsoever as we thunder down now into Beckett and all the other corners that are involved in this little complex in fourth. We can see third, we can, oh, we could just, we could just snatch third at this point. We've now, well, I think we've got someone else behind. We have the Williams, who spun's got one absolutely monumental run out of that last corner. We've got the slipstream on the low, so it's going to be three abreast down into this corner. Why? How did I know that was going to happen? And we've been hit by the Brazilian Caterham, been given a boost there. That wasn't actually intentional, despite what it looked like. And hang on, no. Now that I'm suspicious of, that's like suspicion squared. That's like a huge dollop of suspicion on a suspicion sandwich. The bread is suspicion bread as well. That's how much suspicion is going on here. He punks us into the grass. And if I get sixth in that, I will not be best pleased. We don't get fifth because that um, catering guy gets a penalty. But that was looking so good. We could see the podium. We were in grasping distance of the podium. And we get punt, well, we don't get punts, there wasn't even any contact, to be honest. It was a nice save, though, round Stoke. Nevertheless, well done to the Williams for coming back from spinning from fifth as well to get that podium finish. He, he clearly beat the Lotus into the last corner, but nevertheless, what a race that was. An incredible first lap, an incredible last lap as well. No surprise to see the Red Bull here getting a, getting a win. It's, a, it's only a surprise that he didn't actually start on pole and then win and then get past the slap. I think he got fastest lap anyway, but nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did, and comment about enjoying it if you enjoyed it that much. I hope you have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and as Sebastian Vettel fittingly celebrates in this picture, goodbye.